Hey, what's up guys? So this is my MacBook Pro. I bought it in uh, late 2017. Here's a, a few specs of what this machine currently has in built into it. Now I'm finding it quite difficult these days to multitask with a lot of high-end applications. I have a lot of Adobe applications that I'm always running. I've got Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom for all my image editing. And I've been using a lot of After Effects these days. And it was really when I started rendering a 15 second clip from After Effects, which took about two hours and the memory on my MacBook just kept getting full up and I couldn't do anything. I usually have a lot of uh, browser windows open as well and a lot of stuff going on. And Final Cut Pro is my main video editing tool. So running all these high-end applications simultaneously is putting too much strain on this MacBook and I think it's time for an upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna browse the Apple website, see what options I have and purchase another MacBook Pro. So I got my credit card ready. Let's see uh, what we can buy. So I am on the MacBook Pro page. Well, I have the 15 inch at the moment. It's gonna to have to be the 16 inch one. Let me go ahead and hit the buy button. Now, I don't wanna have any regrets as well. So once you've purchased the specs you want, you can't go and upgrade them afterwards. You're gonna be with that for however long you keep that laptop for. So I'm gonna to have to obviously go for the, the high-end spec ones. I wanna choose as much powerful specs as I can. So let me go ahead with this one. So space gray, it has to be. Now, in terms of the processor, 200 pound is, is quite a lot for that minuscule amount of extra additional power, but you know what, why not? I currently have 2.8 quad core in this current MacBook Pro, but eight core, nine gen, uh, Intel core in there as well. So it's gonna be a, a massive difference to what I have currently. Memory, okay, I currently have 16 gig, it's not working for me, so I'm just gonna max this out, 64 gig, let's go for it. Now in terms of the graphics card, let's see what these options are saying. I'm gonna go down to see the most expensive one, the benefits of that. So as you can see here, the key thing is this bit here, a performance that's up to 75% faster than all of the AMD Radeon Pro ones, which are the ones that are listed before it, so that is a massive amount of increase. If it's costing 700 pounds more, it's a big decision, but I feel like it's gonna make that much of a difference to warrant it. Let me go ahead, wish me luck, and uh, max that out on that as well. So storage, I'm gonna leave it as one terabyte. This MacBook Pro has only 250 gigabytes in there, and I've always kept 50% space free, so I've only used half of that. Most of my files and documents I store on Dropbox and I have that in the cloud, so I don't take up much space on my MacBook, but one terabyte is way more than enough, so I'm not gonna add any more value to that. So I have Final Cut Pro already, so I will need to do that. And let's go ahead and add this to the bag. And obviously they have to try and upsell you for all these additional accessories. I don't feel like I would need any of these. They come with the standard Apple Care on there, so I won't get uh, the additional three years accidental damage on that for now. I've seen some really nice covers and sleeves for MacBooks on Amazon. I can't warrant 200 pounds for that. You can probably get a, just as nice as one for maybe 20 pounds. So uh, I'm gonna leave that. What else do we have? Now we're just getting into non-related items here. I'm okay for the displays. Right, I think that's it. I have AirPods already. Let's go ahead and review the bag. Now that is a big chunk of change. I'm gonna be keeping this MacBook for a long time, so I'm hoping this will last me many, many years. So let's go ahead, no regrets. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this, and then I'll give you guys a unboxing and review when I get this uh, delivered to me as well. All right guys, and there you have it, I've done it. So it's gonna arrive in five to seven days. That is so cool, and I can't wait to get it. Let's just quickly check. Here's all of the configurations. So I'm looking forward to testing the power and capabilities of this. So make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna have the uh, full review of this MacBook Pro and give it a full test to see if my memory maxes out for running high-end applications, video editing applications like Final Cut Pro and Adobe After Effects. Um, but let's fast forward and I'm gonna continue this video as soon as this arrives to give you guys an unboxing. So let's get straight into that.
All right, guys, so I've been waiting for this for just over a week. Pretty excited. Loving that space gray design. You know what, I actually wish they actually did this in uh, space blue and space black as well. Something more premium. I think that would just look really awesome. Look at that. I love that new feeling. you got your uh, charging brick there and cable. So I'll put this to the side. This. Now I've been really looking forward to trying this out. I really like the new Apple Magic Keyboard here. So a little bit of a resemblance to the old design. I like that it has the uh, T-shaped arrows now, which makes it a lot easier to scroll through different things. You've got the physical escape key as well, and you've got the touch bar at the top. You have the four Thunderbolt 3 ports on uh, each side, and you also have the headphone jack as well. Now, the other thing I was really looking forward to this is the 100 watt hour battery, which gives you up to almost 11 hours of non-intensive general usage but I will be testing that. So I'm really excited to get this up and running. Can't wait to test out the power of the 5600M HBM to a gigabyte graphics card as well to make this uh, super fast. But technically this is the fastest MacBook Pro on the planet right now that you can buy at the time that this video went live. All right guys, so I'm really excited to try out new things with this new MacBook Pro. And I'm going to be coming up with a few more videos if you haven't seen them yet. And depending on when you've watched this video, I may have them linked down below. So I'm going to give you the differences between the previous mid-range graphic card, which is the 5500M 8GB model DDR6, comparing the differences with the brand new HBM2 5600M 8GB graphics card as well, just to show you the differences between them. And I'm also going to be using this as a gaming console to see the gaming capabilities of this MacBook Pro, considering how fast it is. And then lastly, I'm gonna give you a one month review to see how it's lasted over the next month to see if it's slowed down, if the battery life has been impacted, if the memory has been used up in any of the high-end applications that I use or anything like that. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss those ones. And I've got some really cool other videos coming out in the near future. So I hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give it a like and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.